clearly this is not Warzone and I'm not playing Warzone in VR. I'm playing a Battle Royale in VR. So if you're getting mad and you're going to dislike this because it's not actually Warzone, you are going to the wrong person who has this. Why would you think a person with 300 subs or so would have Warzone leaks and stuff like this? Just saying. But, if you're down there to leave a dislike, please feel free to subscribe. But, so, on to what I want to talk about, and this is Population 1. Uh, the gameplay that you're seeing right now is my first couple games and, and my training of playing the very popular battle royale game that is on steam and oculus quest um so one thing i'm going to tell you right now is do not believe the steam numbers because if you're going to be playing for the oculus quest or the quest 2 it is very popular and is the population on the quest 2 is fantastic um i was able to find games very quickly um, granted there are only 18 people to a game but it's, it shouldn't be that quick if there's only like the 200 or so that's in Steam, in the Steam version of the game. But I am enjoying the hell out of this game. Uh, if you don't know about the Equus Quest 2, you are living under a rock, but it is a $300 standalone VR system you don't need a PC to use, which is crazy to me um, that a VR system is now about the same price as a Nintendo Switch. So, this is also recorded on the Oculus Quest 2. It's a little stretched out because I'm trying to fill the screen. I'm looking to fix that in the system itself in, in the future going forward. But yeah, that is a crazy great deal if you're looking to play VR games or even get a start into VR. So, I was very hesitant to play this game because if you do not know, there are comfort level ratings. Uh, green is like basically you're playing just sit down like poker or you're not moving and it shouldn't make you motion sick yellow is possibly going to make you motion sick and then red is like if you are anywhere near getting motion sick do not play this game i was a little nervous because i tried um echo vr which is like ender's game like sport and that has the same rating on it but because I was floating, that's what made me sick. So I was a little nervous. So I started playing a lot of Rec Room uh, to get into this game. Rec Room has a green rating, but there's also games where it could push to a moderate yellow rating. So I played a lot of Rec Room, which is, by the way, free to play. And there is a Battle Royale in that. Um, so I didn't spend the $30 and, and waste because I was going to get motion sick. Well... I didn't, so I, I finally bought it. This game is awesome. It is so buttery smooth. It, it, I'm one, that's one of the things that it issues with me. Like Even when I play Call of Duty on my Series X, if I get into a super laggy uh, uh, game, I will start to get a little motion sick. But this game is just running fantastic. Like It is so perfect. I love it. Like Even when I'm like floating in air because there's a floating mechanic kind of like how Fortnite's parasol was or like the war zone mechanic where like you just jump off and you get into your uh, parachute you put your your hands out and you kind of float which is really cool to me um and then there's also like the dropping area as well so i was kind of a little nervous about those because those are big two big components of the game it, I, I did fine. Like, I did not have an issue with it at all. What's crazy to me is just how great the game feels, like, even just shooting the guns. When you're shooting the guns, like, you kind of feel like you have it in your hand. And the fact that you have to basically, like, you can grip on, like, you have to grip with your front, like, if you want, like, better. Um, recoil control like there's some guns that you don't need to have it kind of like the SMGs but like with the assault rifle or the M60 and stuff like that it's really good to have um, 
the extra stability in game so I really enjoy like that feeling and and the guns feel great and like trying to understand the recoil control and having to close one eye so I can scope down um, one thing I, I like it's hit or miss I, I understand what that it'd be a little bit too cumbersome for a attachment stuff so there's like the rarity system so it's like there's common with like less stuff to it and then there's like obviously the more stuff that is damaged and there's there's scopes and stuff like that on the on guns um, for rarity I love the fact that you have to eat a banana or you have to open a soda and like you actually have to open this stuff like you have to peel the banana and put it to your face uh, you have to open the can of soda to actually drink this drink and you have to put it to your face too which is crazy it's just so weird and, and immersive and like I, understandably the game does not look like call of duty Warzone or anything else like i get that it, it's a vr games vr games are are kind of heavy just even on the motion so you really can't put all that much into the visuals and even on a 300 dollar system like I, I don't care. As long as the gameplay is fun, I love it. Um, one thing that I find it is interesting, because it, it kind of looks like they're taking a lot of inspiration from other games. Like, one of those is including Fortnite. There is a building mechanic. Um, it's supposed to help you actually, like, build, like, in the middle of a fight, or at least in a wide open position. You're not going to be cranking 90s, and I thank God love that. Um, it's really just to help you kind of kind of get up and over or like give you a little bit of cover so you can reload which reloading is another thing i love you actually have to reload you're gonna see you've seen me hopefully by now actually having to pull the or push the mag up or put the clip in on my lmg or my belt i'm sorry and then close the hatch on it and then pull the bolt back it's so crazy like it gets me killed a couple times but you know what i don't care uh, i like the fact that it doesn't auto reload for you and you have to do some things it, it, it adds to the immersion i definitely think if you are on the fence about um on vr games or like if you're thinking about a game quest and if you love vr games you're gonna love population one um like i said if you are a little nervous about the motion sickness and you're a little hesitant on possibly wasting 30 bucks, the refund policy is very good. As well as the, um, as well as playing Rec Room to and playing their BR to try it out. It's not the same like in the least bit, but it at least will help you out. Um, they're also putting out new content. They have a battle pass right now, and even like the free one, you get cool skins. Like you can get an AK flame AK skin fairly quickly. Like I don't know a game for thirty dollars that is putting this much content out and has a super good product. Um, this is definitely a game that I'll be playing more and more. I mean, heck, I even bought grips to make it feel better for myself, like to play the game. Like, of course, I'm going to play other games, but this has opened my eye to the shooter games and, and opening my eye, seeing that, like, the moderate is better for me. I'm very excited to keep playing this game, and to anybody that's going to get VR like, that I know, I'm going to recommend Population 1 because I'm having a blast, and the included microphone makes the game great. Um, so, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoy my content i hope you guys get a quest too and if you do please please play population one i'll catch you guys in the next one bye battle zone shrinking in 30 seconds oh gosh <laughs> yeah you're sniping somewhere i would run like run fast oh my Yeah, people are just fighting. I can't see them, so I guess we could go try to fight them. Is now shrinking. I found a shotgun in here. All right. Five squads remaining. Ooh, shotgun. Just 
red smoke go to? That's a supply drop. Oh. Alright. Legendary pistol. Oh my gosh. There's Sokka. Else, so. What's my luck that. this game? I've gotten two <laughs> five stars. Nice. This kid was doing. Just a kid. Oh, yeah, I knew somebody was gonna be. Yeah, try to run, try to run. Oh my! <laughs> oh, I see him. He's right, like he's right on. He's on the back of the rock. Oh, shoot. We're getting sniped from over there. Guy in the storm. The whole squad. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm coming for you. Yeah, I'm dead. Right, my headset's about to die, so I'm gonna get off. Alright, bye. Being charged, charge faster, you can't change. I mean, 12 wins. Yeah, now I have to 